Quantum numbers are a set of four numbers that are assigned to each electron in an atom. And they are used to describe the electron's location within the electron cloud. I'm going to do a separate video for each one of the four quantum numbers. In this video, we're going to be talking about the principal quantum number. So this is just one of the four. We'll call this number one, the principal quantum number. The principal quantum number is abbreviated with a lowercase n. And the principal quantum number is used to describe the energy level of the electron. So if it looks familiar to you, it is familiar to you. We have talked about n before, we just haven't referred to it as the principal quantum number. It's used to describe the energy level of the electron and it's also used to describe the size of the electron density. The size of the, the cloud where the electron is allowed to occupy. So let's draw a picture of an atom here. As we know, we've got the nucleus in the middle with the protons and the neutrons. And then around the nucleus, we have one area of electron density that's pretty small, closest to the nucleus. And we've talked about how this is the lowest energy area for the electrons. And we call this particular area n equals one. And then around that, encompassing that, we have a slightly larger area of, of electron density that's higher in energy. And we call that space N equals two. And then we, that just kind of continues on and on and on theoretically to infinity. So each one of these areas represents an energy level and it also represents a, a size of space. Electrons that are in the n equals 1 level are restricted to occupying only this particular area of space. Electrons that are in the n equals 2 area are restricted to occupying this area of space, and so on. And we've talked about how these are spherical areas. They're not circles. They're three-dimensional spherical areas. So for the principal quantum number n, the possible values of n for any given electron start at n equals 1, and they continue up incrementally, as we've seen, um, going all the way, theoretically, all the way to infinity. Although we've I've talked about how in reality they don't go that high, um, typically only going to about seven or eight in normal situations. Um, but in theory, they increase starting at one, working themselves all the way up to infinity.